It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I'm patrolling right now. I'm, I'm on the road again. I was just, I literally just got home to South Florida like a day and a half ago, not even two days. I'm out, I'm out again. I'm out of, going out of town again. So while I'm walking to my gate in the airport, I figure, you know what? We'll knock a video, a video out. Stay productive. Hope you guys are doing great wherever you're at in the world. But listen, man, you know, Jarrell Miller, big baby, you know, um, just saw Jarrell Miller recently at a couple fights, at, at the Terry Bryan fight a couple times. You know, good guy. You know, he has his checkered past, but, you know, I never had a problem with him. I, I think he's actually a pretty good guy. He's just made some really really stupid mistakes in his career but he's now you know two years later uh, a couple years after all those positive drug tests uh, he's, he's done his time you know he's he's served his long suspension and now he's trying to get back into boxing and uh, Thursday this Thursday he will be fighting on uh, in Argentina of all places. Uh, that's one place I never thought Jerome, I'd see Jerome Miller fighting Argentina, but he's fighting in Argentina uh, as part of the WBO's KO to Drugs Festival. Now, this is not a joke. Uh, I can't make this up. Um, I'm not the one writing the script. He's literally going to be fighting on a card, which is known as the not the KO to Drugs Festival. Now, I'm not one to condemn. I'm not God. I'm not going to play God. I'm not one to condemn anybody, but with Jerome Miller, it's like he's just now getting back into the picture of boxing, and I just I don't think it's a good idea for Big Baby to be fighting on a card like this because people are just going to make a joke out of it. And, and to be honest with you guys, on social media, that's all I've been seeing is is people poking fun at Jerome Miller, the fact that this is a KO for, for drugs festival. So, look. It is what it is. Um, I'm not even sure who's, who his opponent is, but I'll tell you this. Uh, one thing I know about boxing is if, if, it, is if it makes dollars, it makes sense. And Jarrell Miller, one thing about him, he can talk. He's got a great mouthpiece on him. Um, he can sell a fight. You know, I think if he would have fought Anthony Joshua, it would have been one of the biggest fights of 2019 because of how great the buildup was. I mean, say what you want about Big Baby, but he was the only one with a personality big enough to make Anthony Joshua break character and, and stop all the corporate media, stay humble, stay hungry bullshit that he always spews from the side of his mouth. So there's definitely like potential for him to get one last big payday, but for, he, he has to make sure like he can't have not even like one minor fuck up because the fact that he's even getting a chance to fight, period, um, is, is a blessing up on its own you know he 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 really he really can't he can't test positive for nothing uh if i was him i wouldn't even i wouldn't even take a supplement if, if, if you have a question about about just how good or bad or just how if if, if, if you take a, a new product supplement whatever you know you better you best call the wbc and make sure you straighten everything out because you have one you have one more fuck up again people who are already calling for a ban on Jarrell Miller's career. They'll definitely be calling for it. Uh, they'll be screaming from the mountaintops for it if he does it again. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not making this up. He's fighting on the KO uh, the Drugs Festival. I, I still think, look, if Jarrell can, you know, win this fight, win, just put together some wins, you know, get, get, get back on television and, and, and start fighting again. Who's to say that he doesn't get a payday against, you know, uh, a young heavyweight, i.e. Uh, Daniel Dubois, uh, Jared Anderson, uh, Philip Hergovic, someone like that. And you never know, man. Look, I'm never one to write fighters off. I don't think Big Baby's going to be heavyweight champion or anything like that. But, um, you know, you need the heavyweight division. You just never know. I mean, I'm very interested to see how Drum Miller fights now uh, that he won't be on, you know, quote-unquote PEDs. Because one thing that... Big Baby always had going in his favor that he always talked about was that was the fact that he always had one of the highest uh, punch out puts in the heavyweight division. Now, the question we got to ask is was was the punch out put a natural God given talent or was the punch out put due to the PEDs? We don't necessarily know. Uh, I think most people will lean towards the, the the you know him being on PEDs, which is why a guy who's 
300 plus pounds, built like a, a, a tank, you know, short, compact guy. Not short, but a, 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 just a, a compact guy. You know, some would even say he's a, he's a little chubby, but but he it did seem a bit abnormal that he was throwing, you know, all the punches he was throwing. Granted, they weren't big punches. A lot of punches that Jarrell would throw were arm punches. Um, but still, still throw what, however many punches he would throw, 500, 600, 700 punches as a heavyweight, you know, it's, it was abnormal. So we'll see what kind of improvements the Jarrell Miller makes. Um, I'll definitely be following uh, how his career develops and how this whole KO uh, to drugs festival in Argentina goes. Uh, I'll be waiting for the results and things like that. But yeah, that's the news, man. Big Baby is back. Uh, it's kind of crazy because, you know, Big Baby was supposed to fight on Triller last time I heard, and now he's not. Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with maybe the word being that, you know, Sergey Kovalev just fought on Triller and they haven't paid him. You know, so Triller has a long, checkered history of doing really bad business, whether it be with Kovalev, Tia Fimo, and whatever the case may be. So it's just like, if that's why he's not fighting on Triller, then good for him because I'd hate for Jarrell Miller to come off of a long, 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 long suspension and then fight on Triller and then not get paid in his first fight pack. So, uh, yeah, you got to do what's best for you. Uh, I hope for his sake that, you know, um, he's doing the right thing behind closed doors. And, and, and you know, look, he's, he's fun. He, he was a fun guy to follow when he was a prospect, when he was fighting like the Donovan Dennis's of the world. And it, it'll be nice to have a, a drum on the back of the division, but you know, he has a lot of red flags and people are gonna really, really, really uh, talk a lot of shit. Probably even on this comment section of this video. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm at the airport now, I'm on my, I'm on my gate, but I uh, wanted to come do this quick video with you guys. Uh, keep keep supporting the channel. You know, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Um, uh, the support here has just been immense and I can't thank you guys enough there's not enough thank yous in the world um dreams are coming true here on true school sports for your boy bt so just uh help me to continue to grow so that i can give you guys the best content help me help you and um yeah that's what it is you guys take care let me know what you think about this whole drum only ko the drugs festival in the comment section down below and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just a kid from dania so until next time take care thank you for watching another video on true school sports the home of boxing if you made it this far do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed you know true school sports bringing you the latest and greatest the untouchable you know boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and